Hey, boss. Boss is like, dumb. He's dumb. He's dumb. dumb. <laughs> Stupid. Merry Christmas to you, too. Stupid. <laughs> now, Saddam Hussein's capture was great news for the world, but better news for the T-shirt slogan industry. Design a Hussein T-shirt for drunks everywhere. Greg Poops. Thank you, Mr. Quinn. Uh, <laughs> I think this will be the t-shirt that everyone, well, I had a bunch. First, uh, dude, where's my oil? <laughs> and, Does this beard make my ass look big? <laughs> Does this beard make me look gay? <laughs> Nick? <laughs> I saved you on that one. Uh, my, my other weapon is a weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> How's my hiding? <laughs> Call 1-800-SEDAM. <laughs> But the one that I think everyone will wear is will dictate for food. All right. Maceo! Oh, man, let me tell you something, Colin. Um, <laughs> Colin, if I, had a, if, if I was drunk and I had a T-shirt, my T-shirt would read, it's better to find me in a hole than to see George in some bush. All right. Yeah. All right. Where are you going? Here's, Ray what, here's what my T-shirt would say. Right in the front, it would say, we conquered a country, and all I got was this lousy T-shirt. Right. And then the back of the shirt would have dollar bill signs on, and it would say, Halliburton and Dick Cheney got the rest. All right. Now. That's right. They got the money. Nick DiPaolo. My T-shirts would have to have a picture of Saddam in them, to be funny. Uh, dictators get down and dirty. <laughs> I'm having a senior moment. I like that one. Come on, people. Laugh like you never heard this. Where am I going and why am I in this handbasket? <laughs> when the going gets tough, the tough hide in a rat hole? Uh, Shiite happens? My wife wrote that. I'd rather be committing genocide. <laughs> Folks, that's the end of this show. If you don't like it, you're going to get some nice lumps. I had another one, though, man. What was yeah, your other one? The other one Tell us that. when you come back.